And what happens is the dog's love for the environment or the power of that environment is something that grows over time. So for example, you might say, oh, my dog loves food. And it's this awareness of where does your dog get food? Well, you know, we train, I give him treats. Really? Is that all? What about when he goes in the kitchen, he sniffs around the baseboard where you were cutting to see if there's any scraps. Guess what? He might sniff there 10 times, 20 times, nothing to be found. And then the 21st time, he finds a big chunk of cheese that you didn't know that had fallen. And if you listen to podcast episode number 174, I talked about dopamine hits are the highest when the dog gets a negative prediction error, meaning what they were expecting to get as a reinforcement was not anywhere near as good as what they got. And so, if your dog finds this piece of cheese, then holy smokes, I'm going to start sniffing all my environments. Maybe there'll be manna from heaven on the floor somewhere else. And so this sniffing around, or maybe even start licking around, you, number one, might not notice it. Or number two, you might utter the three words that will come back and bite you in the butt. And that is, I don't mind. Yeah, he sniffed the floor. He found something. I don't mind. See, Layers of learning happening intentionally through us are really cool things when we're using reinforcement. Layers of learning when they're happening accidentally through the environment are equally as powerful, but they're working against us because what happens next is in that dog's sniffing around the kitchen, one day the dishwasher is open and he starts sniffing and he's like, oh, there's, there's food left on these plates. So, we'll start licking the plates. Mm. I don't mind. I don't mind. So then what happens is, oh, I got stuff on the floor. I got stuff the next level up. What's this? Oh, it's a garbage bin. I'm just going to knock that over or flip the lid up and stick my head in. And there might not be anything in there the first time he does it or the second or the 10th or the 20th. The 21st time though, guess what? Ding, ding, ding. Just like the jackpots in Las Vegas. He gets a big payout. Negative prediction error. Boom, I'll be knocking over every garbage pan I can find. Now, you might mind about that. So, you start taking the garbage bins, putting them up on the counter when you leave the room so that that doesn't happen anymore. But we started on the floor. We got some good reinforcement there. We got up to the dishwasher, some more stuff there. Went a little higher to the garbage bins. Now, what's at that height? Oh, this is like a baby's high chair. Look at the little bottom of the high chair. I find some crumbs. Oh, and just crumbs are good. Lo and behold, they keep sniffing time and time again. And I don't know what time it is that they're going to find big handfuls of food that the baby left there. Ding, ding, ding. The kitchen pays out big. Environmental rewards for the dog. Ding, 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 ding. Found the floor, in the dishwasher, in the garbage can, on the baby's tray. How about I just check the counters. I just go right to the source. And all of a sudden, we get people writing in and saying, I don't know, out of the blue, he just started counter surfing. He was never a counter surfer. I don't know how it happened, Susan. It's that darn environment always wins. <laughs>